Welcome to 58th lecture. We are studying circuit analysis. And in this lecture, we will continue studying that we have been studying for the last couple of lectures. We will continue studying three phase Y, three phase Y connection. Y connections are also called star connection. And they are called Y because the arrangement of source and the load is in the form of letter Y. In fact, inverted letter Y, English letter Y. Right. So in this uh, in this lecture, we will solve an example related to three phase Y, three phase Y connected load and source. Right. So the source is delta connected, Y connected or star connected. And the load is also Y connected. There are three, three branches and the load is balanced, means we have the same load in all three branches, in all three phases. And, and, the, and the source voltages are having the same magnitude, but, but they are also balanced. This means they are 120 degrees apart from each other. Secondly, there is also a So it's a, it's a line impedance. Line impedance is one plus J one ohms. The line resistance is one ohm. The line impedance is J one ohms. So they're connected in series. So this is the equivalent line impedance. This is the impedance of the load. Right, and we have also assumed that there is no impedance in in the neutral line, the ground line. Right, so this is what we are giving, that all three phase voltages are 120 degrees apart from each other, the balanced, the balanced three phase system. So what we are required to find is the current flowing per phase. In our earlier lectures, we have studied that line current and phase current is the same in a Y connected system. So IA, the phase current or the line current, IL, IP or IL is the same. So therefore we can make things easier by considering any one part of the three phases, any one phase of the three phases. So we have picked this phase, the phase A only. And the remaining calculations, we don't have to we don't have to make those calculations because once we once we compute IA, IB and IC can be computed straight away because IB for a balanced system, for a balanced three phase system, IB would be 120 degrees apart from IA and IC would be 240 degrees apart. Oh, IC would be, I would, IC would be delayed by, by 240 degrees compared to IA. So finding IA is enough, right? So find IA will apply Ohm's laws. It's a very straightforward calculation because we have this source, which the, for which the value is given 120 at an angle of zero and, and these impedances. So we apply Ohm's law, it's pretty straightforward. One hundred and twenty degrees at an angle of zero divided by twenty one. The real part is added in real part, the imaginary part is added in imaginary part. This is twenty one plus J eleven, and we can convert this number into a polar into its polar representation like this and then we divide these two complex numbers by dividing their magnitudes and subtracting their angles we already know that so 120 divided by 23.7 is 5.06 at an angle of minus 27.6 so vl right so once we have computed ia ib and ic are straightforward ib would be having the same magnitude but delayed by 120 ic 
would be having the same magnitude but delayed by 240. I have done it for you in the last slide. This one. IA is this. So IB is delayed by 120 and IC is delayed by 240, right? So the next thing is we have to compute the load voltage VL or we also call, we can also call this voltage as V A N the voltage from this capital A terminal to the common terminal N, right? So to differentiate this small A with this capital A, this means the small A is from on the source side, whereas this capital A is on load side, right? Therefore, we differentiated that this is the source side and this capital A angle is on, capital A terminal is on, on the load side. So V capital A N is the voltage across load in, in phase A. Right. So this can be computed by using Ohm's law, the current flowing through it, because because of series circuit and we have only one current flowing through the line impedance and the load impedance. So the current multiplied by the impedance. Impedance is 20 plus J10. 20 plus J10. So we can convert this into a polar number, 22.36 at an angle of 26.5. So when we multiply these polar numbers, we know we multiply their magnitudes and add their angles. So if we add angles and multiply magnitudes, we come up with this value. 113.15 at an angle of minus one. This VL in phase A can also be written as V sub capital A capital N, capital N or smaller, the same thing, right? So for balanced Y system, VBN should be 120 degrees lagging compared to VAN. And we already know that VCN should be 240 degrees lagging. So this is how we can we can represent VAN, VBN, VCN, and IA, IB, and IC, right? We'll keep on studying three-phase systems in our upcoming lectures. Thank you very much.